so our options, and I'll let you guys vote. Um, we can get the ISRU science tech, which will probably encourage me to go after asteroids. We can go with uh, these parts, and that'll probably open up uh, Drez, Jewel, and Elu missions. And basically that's all I'm interested in right now. Five votes for ISRU. Okie dokie. And we've got the Gravioli alright. Okay, so we need... We'll, we'll do this asteroid contract now. Or try to. Class C asteroid, we need to get it into orbit of Duna. So let's track a Class C asteroid. There's still some that we were tracking. Huh. He actually survived that long. So there's this XAG guy. Which is C. It just doesn't interact with Kerbin at all, apparently. This one actually intersects Kerbin. That's a little bit handier. Um, we have to keep an eye. So that's 201 days. The Drez mission is one year and 193 days. So I guess we can deal with this in good time. And then we need to place the drills in such a way that when we claw it, the drills will be able to extend to the surface. I've never done this before, but I'm, I'm just sort of imagining how it must be done. Drilling asteroids is not something that happens in Realism Overhaul much. I'm gonna put the best equipment. I don't know if we should send an engineer. Should we send an engineer? Need radiators, yeah. We still only have the surface mount radiators. Um, and this doesn't actually allow surface mounting. You, you mean the extendable ones when you say medium. We've only got small extendable ones. Let me, well, I guess we can... Does this do better than this one? It's the same. But I think it'll be easier to fit. You say two medium ones? Um, actually, it is much less than that, isn't it? Ah, yeah, it's four times less. Well, we'll, we'll have a combination. So obviously we're going nuclear. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Drill unit. We already have a nuclear stage, so let's just use it. I don't want to have to put it together again. Maybe we should just use the whole rocket. I mean, it worked, right? Well, th we will need a fairing around this, so we can get rid of those. Hold on, we'll, we'll get to the power. I wish the nuclear reactors provided power like nuclear reactors ought to. Bimodal, anyway. So. <sighs> Can't have everything, I suppose. Uh, we won't be able to have them on all four sides because... We won't be able to have them all face the sun like that. So we'll have to have them on two sides and hope for the best. Yeah, we have radiators. I don't have... We have two here and then we've got four there and then uh, four small ones on the pod there. We won't talk about the thruster blowing right at the solar panel. They're not perfectly even, but I guess that'll have to do. Okay, hopefully that's got to be enough power. We should probably add some some batteries. Well, we've already tried it. I don't think we need the fuel lines. We just know it's fooling us. Because we already tried this around Duna. 
Yeah, we need the Gigantors, definitely. This is very sort of Vulcan-like, you know, energy of Vulcan in a way. Dottie. Dottie's a one star. I guess we should send a sci uh, an engineer that's more experienced, but then again, they're gonna they're gonna upgrade themselves anyway, so maybe Dottie will be fine. The crews level up in flight. Seven days to periapsis. Five hours to the encounter, though. Okay, so science and comms. Did we block the hatch? We did. Put a solar panel above the hatch. Went to, to be over here. Okay. Science and comms. Comms. That's good enough for Duna. Uh, but we need to put it in a way that it's not gonna bang into anything. Well, I'm itching to gravioli things. Obviously. Alright. Can it get off the ground? Always gotta check that. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. These should be auto strutted already. So. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, Dottie. Good luck. And. Wait. What kind of inclination does the asteroid coming in have? It, it's trying to hide. Th there it is. It's totally trying to hide that from me. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're gonna have to wait until we're under that orbit. Okay, that should be good enough. Nice daytime launch. We've got power. Let's hope for the best. Why do we have that much more propellant? Well, I guess... Ooh, you know what? We need to basically dock with it. I need more thrusters. Recover vessel. Yes, thankfully time does not pass in the VAB, though this edit should be reasonably quick. We've got thrusters already in a lot of places. We've got them there, them there. But I just need um, some more up here. Yep, Dottie's still in. Okay, good times. Bottle up, SAS on, and let's go. Six mainsails. In the sun, uh, yeah, yeah. And I need to rotate so that all the panels are facing the sun too. I mean, I guess I could try and rotate the asteroid, but that's no fun. It occurs to me that I should have probably put more reaction wheels on this, come to think of it. This is going to be rather painful. <laughs> oh no, I, I, this is one time I should not have forgotten the reaction wheels. Oh shoot, Norf, you're right. Uh, uh, no, I can't do that. That's only something you can do in, in Realism Overhaul. In Realism Overhaul, it would not turn like this. That turn would have been doable. It's okay. It's okay. We're going north now. See? Everything's okay now. I don't know what it is about the stock atmosphere. I think I'm too shallow. Whatever. Yeah, it's all going wrong. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. 
Oh, we did not target the asteroid this time. One degree! We're only one degree off. And that's as good as we can do. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, uh, is it safe to do the fairings? Hopefully. Alright, alright, alright. Um, let's do all the action groups. Gonna have to wait a few days. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not trying to get into orbit around Kerbin. We're trying to get into orbit around Duna. Okay, I think we'll do this sequence. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be extra fun. <laughs> yeah, uh,. Have a previously undisturbed classy asteroid in tow. Put your vessel in orbit of Duna. Fun? It depends. My lack of a reaction wheel may cause this to be not so fun. I should have put a docking port on here just so that I could send some other vessel with a reaction wheel to it. <laughs> Yeah, this is hold on. This is our turn speed right now. If it's internal reaction wheels, you can see. Yeah, I don't know what it looks like. It isn't a porcupine. It isn't a stegosaurus. No idea. It's just whatever it is. It's a spacecraft. Nope, nope. It's its own thing. Deal with it. It does not conform to any previous pattern. Dragonfly? Yeah, it's a very complicated dragonfly. That might be the best thing. Oh yeah, Lex! There, there was that. I only watched a two, the first two episodes of that. All right, five kilometers it is. Okay, we're gonna wait the six days in the tracking station. I did not doubt for a second that Final Fantasy themes could be turned into metal. Just saying. Nah, uh, I don't want it to stray further away though. Okay, that's not good. It's better. Oh, please show me things. No, stop running off. Ah, don't know. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Alrighty, nuclear time. I don't know what it looks like. It is what it is. Okay, where's the asteroid? There it is. Okay, well, any asteroid mining tips will be good now. Do not tease the asteroid. In what way? How does one tease an asteroid? Well, you never- oh god. Oh god. N too quick, too quick. I, f I didn't realize it was bulging in this direction.
Asteroid has not been disturbed. It fits Kermadine's requirements. Good times. All right. Well, we need to get out into interplanetary space. Oh, I didn't really pay attention to where... Well, the solar panels happen to be perfect. Okay, good times. Um, we need to get into interplanetary space and wait until the Duna transfer window. But we could start by boosting up because the periapsis is already lowered in Kerbin orbit. But we'll get into interplanetary space first. I guess we should test the drills. But no, we're, we've got... We're pretty full up on fuel anyway. So let's get into interplanetary space. Okay, prograde please. Let's see how it turns. How heavy are we? Only 154 tons. I'm shocked. It's nothing. I hope we're pointing well enough through the center of mass for it not to be too annoyed. It gets lighter. Good. Now I think we can physical time warp. We can start burning. I just want to get it to a Kerbin level here. And thereby deplete the liquid fuel a bit. And then we can start drilling. Oh, it's a bit off. Um, okay. Um, how do we fix this? Any ideas? Is there a way to get the claw to point through the center mass properly? I don't want to just run the mod propellant. I don't think that'll work. Free pivot? Yeah, but will how what what happens when I free pivot? Uh It seems to I think it'll make things worse. It's make definitely making things worse. Ta oh, target center mass maybe. Okay. Um Oh, this is not good. Um, oh god. Oh, 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 ah. Uh, It's like it's like truck simulator. It's oh god. Uh, okay, we are the same vessel, so we don't have collisions. Thank goodness. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do the time warp trick if it works, or maybe a uh, lock pivot. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's close. Er. Stupid nuclear engine doesn't gimbal. Oh, I probably should have turned off the prograde thing. That might have helped. Inner mech jeb? Why can't I just be my inner jeb? I, I can't seem to get it to point through that target point. Why? Oh wait, I didn't free pivot? I thought I did. Explain it. Maybe that's good enough. It's not quite good enough. 
It really needs to be more precise than that, I think. Time warp trick. Um... I'm gonna need to zoom in on this nav ball. And let's keep that up. Maybe that's good. Oh, you meant inner mech jab because of the RCS usage. Okay, now, uh, still string. But better, but string. Okay, I'll strut to an asteroid. Hey, wait a minute. Well, okay, yeah, this is gonna be tedious in the extreme, clearly. I guess we could drill for mob propellants, so I don't have to be too sparing about the RCS. Well, let's let's see about the whole while we're doing this uh, deploy drill. Okay. Start asteroid harvester. We've got some more. Power is stable. Okay. Start asteroid harvester. Ore is definitely flowing in. Um, start ISRU liquid fuel. Well, uh, I probably want more ore containment. This isn't converting the ore fast enough. We're accumulating ore too quickly. We'd need one more of these converters at least. I wonder if the mod prop will occur on top of it. It is, doesn't occur on top of it. Okay, that's good. Meaning that it doesn't diminish liquid fuel production just because you turn on the mod propellant production. How high is uh, Duna? 21 million kilometers. And we're increasing by basically 2,000 kilometers a second. And that's with the physical time warp. But this is not the transfer window. We're just getting to Kerbin orbit because I want to use the Kerbin transfer window to get over there, right? Uh, the 45 degree thing. Okay, there we go. And otherwise we can handle the time warp in the tracking station. Other Asteroid Wrangler vids? Not really. I don't pay a huge close attention to things. I mainly listen in for funny stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, when I'm, when I'm watching other people stream or, uh, or I, I'm watching videos, I'm mainly just, it's peripheral and then I'm waiting for something that might be funny. I mean, I assume that's the same way that people watch my videos too, so. I'm not really looking for tips, let me put it that way. Weird thing is, even without drilling, we probably have enough Delta V. <laughs> well, it says I only start 18 minutes ahead of the node. Seems optimistic to me, but okay. I don't really want to error break it. I think we can handle it without that. Alright, so 8 days. How's our... Oh, we need to rotate. Yeah, can you imagine how much more difficult it is in realism overhaul where they've actually increased the size of the asteroids and all the velocities they're really fast i've never come close to an asteroid in realism overall my main asteroid experience actually came when they introduced asteroids in 0.23.5 way back when as far as i remember don't know if i did a whole lot with asteroids since then since they were the new thing on the block. Eh, that's close enough on timing. 
Gotta get that epic music timing. I guess this view is better. I sort of like the view of the sun, but then this is all shaded. I should have this going. Let's get the screenshot view, I suppose. Oh, we're right. You guys have the chat. I don't have the chat displayed on top of the... But, uh, alright, alright, alright. Uh, since we have time, let me turn off the name of the song and that not notification thing and the chat. So there's this one, and I'll do the other two as well. Yep. Well, we've got these other radiators. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, they're active. Why aren't they doing stuff? Cool, just the part they're attached to? Well, I mean, then this is the part, right? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're... Oh, right, but I actually attached it to this lander can. But I don't think... I think the burn will be done before we need to worry about it. Cooling the engine, I guess, because the drills aren't running. And the uh, converter's not running. I mean, I guess the converter's still cooling off right now. But these are still increasing, so I guess it must be the engine. Eh, good enough. Uh, a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, but we really can't pay attention to this immediately. We're gonna have to make a dummy maneuver over there. Because we've got that Dres mission to take care of. Really, honestly, we're gonna pay attention to that Dres mission with the Kerbal on board. How much is it gonna take to make... Eh, it'll be fine. We've got 1,550 sitting there. So is it cooling off now? Yeah, they're cooling off. Uh, I'll stick with it a little bit longer to see them cool off properly, unless... Just in case that doesn't happen when we're not focused on it, you know? Well, let's just hold on, let it cool off, 